hello guys welcome back to the channel and now we are going to learn how to use OR formula in Microsoft Excel in our previous video we covered AND formula in case you want to learn that you can find the link in the description OR formula is a logical testing formula which is used to test your data if any of the given condition is fulfilled then it will give you result as true otherwise false so we have this data which we'll use now we have client name province client type and sales amount now we'll use this data here to learn our formula so our formula is equals to or or and then tab now we have to select logical one which means logical argument number one so our first argument is if our client type is type A now as we have selected our sale so we'll use is equals to then quotation mark as we are using text so this should be equals to type space A then quotation mark over then comma now this is asking for logical 2 so here we have to provide second condition for which we will use sales value so we'll select this and sales should be greater than 15,000 so now we will use greater than sign and then 15,000 and then enter so as you can see this false result because both the arguments are not fulfilled this is type C and this is less than 15,000 so let's check others so we will select this sale where we have our formula so we will drag this down till here and you can see the results and previously taught formula and both the condition should meet but here if any of the given argument or condition is met it will give you true result so let's check here this is true because of condition 2 but our first condition which was type A is not fulfilled here but also it is giving true result because one of our condition is met with this formula you can add up to 225 conditions if you want to and now in our second example we will use four conditions let's use it here equals to or and then tab so our first logical test is sales lower than 20,000 so we'll select sales and this should be lower than 20,000 this is our first argument then comma now our second argument is for client type so we'll select this and we want client type is type D so this sale should be equals to type D type D between quotation marks as you can see this quotation marks because we are using text then we'll add comma then our logical test 3 is if our province is Manitoba this should be equals to quotation mark Manitoba then quotation mark over then comma again and now we have to write our logical test 4 which will be for client name so we'll select this and this should be equals to gil so quotation mark g i double l gil quotation mark over and then enter and this is showing as true because the only condition which is fulfilled here is sales value 12,000 is lower than 20,000 which we have here in the condition here so let's check others I will drag this down and you can see this false because this is not gil not manitoba not type d and not less than 20,000 so i hope you have learned how to use or formula in microsoft excel and if you are interested in and formula you can find the link in the description please hit like if this video was helpful for you comment down your questions share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe